Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Where are my shades? I don't think I brought them. Y'all, come on in. I thought I just seen them. Oh, Come on in and thumbs up the video. If you are my friend, how are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Uh, Y'all, another day, some more driving. Uh, we are about to head back to discount tires and yesterday after we left the mechanic the check engine light came on Miss Pauline's van and it wasn't on at first so now we have to drive all the way back to Houston we're in Huntsville an hour from Houston and now we have to drive back to Huntsville I mean back to Houston today to figure out what's going on but first we're gonna stop by discount tires miss pauline made me a uh omelet this morning y'all oh i mean miss charlene miss charlene made me an omelet this morning she wants credit y'all she corrected me <laughs> charlene miss charlene made me an omelet this morning and it was so good girl she could make me an omelet anytime, y'all. Any day of the week, I eat an omelet for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Show sure will. So, anyway, we're about to hit the discount tires and see if they could fix this other tire light that's coming on. Because we got brand new tires. Had air added to the tires. So, I don't know what they need to do uh, to make that light go off. We're going to see if we can get all these lights to go off. That is the goal is to try to see if we can get the lights to go off. And then we have to go by Home Depot to get the wood for the back. Uh, I need to get the measurements too, so they could cut that second piece of wood. Uh, so we're just gonna be doing some more running around. It's kind of late -er than we be leaving. What time is it? 10.27. Oh yeah, it's later than we be leaving. Uh, Cause we usually at least be out here by eight. But we probably gonna be driving back tonight in the dark because we have to be out of our campsite by 12. I don't know if Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline are leaving tomorrow or if they just gonna try to leave like Monday or something like that or I don't know. I don't know what we doing because every day we think we doing something else and we only end up doing it because something else end up coming up. So we just plan everything by ear we didn't even get girl miss charlene was going in the back of her uh van today she had brought all this stuff for hiking camping cooking the campfire thing girl we didn't get to do nothing she brought her hiking shoes but we didn't get to go the only way only place we hiking is to these dealerships <laughs> these dealerships and these mechanic shops and looking for so we didn't get to do nothing, y'all, that we wanted to do. We didn't get to do no leisurely. Y'all know how to play volleyball? I always want to play volleyball. We didn't get to do nothing, y'all. So I don't know. It goes that way sometimes. Next time I see my friends, it's going to be all the way in October. <laughs> Ooh, by the time I see Miss... Uh, Pauline Van again. It's going to be all decked out looking like a mansion. So yeah, we're just trying to get everything situated before they get on the road again to make sure they have a safe trip home. I think I only got like two gray hairs in my head. It's one in the front I've been having up here for years. I think I only got two gray hairs, but by the time they leave, I'm probably going to have about like 20. <laughs> 20 gray hairs because we've been running around y'all oh and they some wear rewards so child i say you is not gonna make me start bleeding again because <laughs> they be worried but anyway that's understandable because you drive all the way to houston from nevada you don't want to break down child because that's a long way from home that is a long way from home to break down so anyway, we about to go to Discount Tires, and uh, we will talk to you guys later. That's what my van life is consisting of, uh, just helping my friends find a vehicle, get the vehicle situated in Houston, because they want to try to get as much 
as possible as they can get done in Houston because they say everything is cheaper here than it is in Nevada. So even the mechanic, the mechanic was cheaper. The insulation, the wood, everything is just cheaper. The gas is cheaper. So they want to try to get as much as they could possibly get done in Houston before they go back to Nevada. So that's what we doing. So, and it's a cloudy day. Let me turn y'all around because it is a cloudy day. We don't know what's going on with the weather. We don't know if it's going to pour down raining. Like one of them clouds might just open up and it be raining for the next two hours. Hopefully not, but uh, yeah, it does look like it's going to rain today. So anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all so we just sitting here in the van miss uh pauline went into walmart uh she did take her van to discount tires and they had the air pressure in the tires we think they had the air pressures in the tires incorrect and so they added more to the ones that needed more air so hopefully her tires will regulate properly if not i guess we have to come back over here tomorrow or, or figure out what the what the problem is uh but she have new tires on the van it's just the thing is uh, we don't know what's going on y'all so uh hopefully everything regulates properly or we'll have to go buy another uh discount tires and because where we're going to the mechanic shop, it's another discount tires down the street. So if by the time we get to Houston and it's still doing the same thing, I might just go by the other discount tires that I normally go to and see what the problem is. So we just waiting for Miss uh, Pauline to come out of Walmart. And I'm also uploading another video and I'm waiting on that to export on my phone so I can upload that video while I'm driving and we got an hour drive to Houston. So that's what y'all gonna be seeing next. Y'all gonna be seeing me driving to Houston from Huntsville, Texas. Girl, we sure needed to be somewhere closer to uh, be able to get all this stuff done, but we got accommodations in Huntsville. This is where we sleep at. We got all our stuff in the little uh, screened house. So it's not really nowhere closer to Houston that you could like camp where we could have just had all our stuff out and did everything we needed to do. So this is the price you got to pay. <laughs> the price you got to pay to take care of business. You know, we got to drive an hour there and an hour back. Every day we've been doing it. An hour there and an hour back. I don't even know. We filled up yesterday. We filled up gas yesterday and we almost used up a quarter of a tank yesterday. So oh, they say you got the pay to stay. We got the pay to stay, y'all. So anyway, I'll show y'all us riding to Houston. Like I say, it's an overcast day. It looked like the clouds could just bust open at any moment. But at least it's not too hot. And at least it's not too cold. Miss Charlene don't be saying nothing, y'all. She just shaking her head. <laughs> she don't talk to me when the camera on, y'all. Uh, but I guess she'll talk to me after the camera is off. So let me talk to my friend. <laughs> See y'all in a minute. We'll turn y'all around. again making sure they'll be all right to make it to vegas we got a couple of things worked on
Y'all, I am sitting in the van with the fur babies. We got the air on. Uh, Miss Charlene and Miss Pauline went into Ross. Charlene and Miss Pauline and I just left out of Home Depot. It took us a while up in there. We got the wood cut to size. Uh, I did not bring my phone with me. We went to the mechanic. The mechanic checked out her van again. Then we called the dealer and uh, the mechanic reassured them that everything is good on the van and they're going to make it all the way back to Nevada and letting them know that they didn't have any mechanical issues that needed to be like addressed like right this minute. And so then we came down here to Home Depot to get the wood uh, because Miss Pauline said everything is cheaper in Texas than it is in Nevada. So we picked out the wood, then we had to wait 10,000 hours for the man to come and um, cut the wood for us. And now Miss Pauline and Miss Charlene is in Ross. They're looking for some kind of pillows for their booty <laughs> to be comfortable when they're driving. And so I just stayed in the car. Oh, uh, man. After that, we are gonna go to the thrift store. We wasn't go. We were supposed to wake up early this morning and go to uh, the thrift store where everything is two dollars and twenty five cents today on two Thursday. But I was tired and I was like, let's work on the van. Let's run around and get the other stuff done. And uh, so Miss Charlene was like, I agree. And. The time was passing by and I was like, we need to go to the mechanic and all of that. So, uh, since we're on the side of town where the clothes are, we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Uh, we gonna end up going back to our campsite before dark anyway. So, yeah, I am about to uh, just update y'all. I think I'm going to go to Burger King and get me two ices. Or just one large one. I be getting two when I get the dollar ones, but when I get one big one, one large one is, is enough. So I think I'm going to go to Burger King and get me an Icy and uh, yeah. And then we're going to head to the thrift store. So I'll take y'all in the thrift store with me. I couldn't take y'all in the other stores with me because my phone had died on me but we put it on the charger. So I will take you out in the thrift store with me. Today is the last day of us running around. Uh, they're gonna leave tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do an interview with both of them uh, before they leave. Uh, on the way, back to Huntsville, I might just do a car conversation with Miss Pauline and just us talk and just shoot the, you know what, just, just talk like we talk when we don't have a camera on. Here they come. So I might let them uh, just let me and Miss Charlene have a conversation on our way back to Huntsville because that's going to be a whole hour drive, girl. So, yeah. I might let y'all listen to that. But we about to uh, go by Burger King and then go by uh, the thrift store. So I will see y'all in a little bit.
Okay, y'all, we are at the thrift store. They already went in. I was locking the car and letting down the windows. So let's see what we could see. There they go right there. They probably lost, don't know where to go. They just better start looking and get in where they can fit in. Yeah, this is what I got in the basket so far. I'm looking for purple stuff, burgundy stuff to go with my tennis shoes. Still in the store, I'm still looking. I'm still looking. Okay, y'all, we just made it back to our campsite, safe and secure, uh, and we tired and we ready to go to bed. We didn't even do a campfire. I got some firewood. We didn't even do a campfire. I got some dishes I need to wash. I got some clothes I need to wash. Girl, I got a lot of stuff I need to do. So it's still gonna be crunch time after Miss Pauline and Miss Charlene leave. But anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog. I didn't get out at a lot of the locations because I was letting them handle their business. And I want to stay in the van with the dogs and also edit my videos and upload them. And it's a good thing I did because when we went to the thrift store, we, uh, I don't know why we didn't think to take the dogs out the van, but girl, somebody had called the police. <laughs> the police didn't come yet, but they actually was threatening to call the police because we had the dogs in the van, y'all. It's cold outside. It's not hot or nothing. And we was like, what in the duck cup? Miss Charlene was like, are you serious? I said, yeah, girl. They say they called the police. <laughs> she ran out of there. <laughs> She ran out of there so fast. Say, are you serious? <laughs> I say, yep. So anyway, y'all, uh, I'm about to end this vlog. Thank y'all for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.